Hi and welcome back to my channel. In this video, let's talk about JavaScript modules in .NET Core 6. So I have created a new project using Jealousy templates. And this is um, a .NET Core web app project. And I'm in .NET 6. And in .NET 6, you can have JavaScript modules. And the way it works is just like this. I Suppose I need a script, JavaScript, in this privacy.cshtml. Usually what I do is I use a section uh, for a script. And here I can add a script. And in this script I can use something like alert. And say hi. And let's save it. And I also make sure that we have the script section here. Uh, yes, scripts here, and um, we have the same here. So let's run the project. My application is up and running now, and if I go to privacy page, immediately I get this message say hi, and that's usually how we work with JavaScript in a web-based application. But now with ASP.NET Core 6, we can use modules, JavaScript modules here. And let's add a new file, add a new item, can be, can be uh, any file as long as you change the name. Now let's choose the code file and here the most important part is the naming and the uh, extension. So let's name it privacy and cshtml and js enter. So I have a JavaScript file down in here and now I can move this script from here to here and also uh, here I need to reference the script file um, so the src for a script is pages privacy CS, html js and let's save everything and also before I run the project I don't need the script tags in my JavaScript file, let's save everything and, and now run the project again and uh, let's refresh this page and you get the say hi message again and if I look into a page source you can see that we are referencing uh, the JavaScript file and not the script itself uh, it is amazing because uh, this makes uh, working with JavaScript files much, much easier. Okay, you might ask, uh, what's new? Couldn't we do the same with ASNet Core 5 or earlier versions? And the answer is no, because uh, all the time you want to work with a JavaScript file, CSS file, or any other resource file, you usually put them in WWW root folder and this is the only folder that can be accessed without any authorization and this is directly available to the public so you would have all your JavaScript files in this folder or any folder in WWW root area and uh, it always makes working with JavaScript files much harder because you always have to see the view and okay find the related JavaScript file in WW root and they are so far away from each other especially if you have a large project but with this new mechanism in uh, views and JavaScript files you can have your JavaScript files side by side with your view and your backend code and it makes just uh, working with your project all in all mm, much easier. That's it for today. Thanks for watching and see you soon.